Hi everyone, now we'll continue with the email backscatter attack and prevention demo. Before we start, I'll give you a quick overview of my test lab. So I have here my local machine where I will initiate the attack. We also have two SMTP servers with domains tcsejmrl.com and jmrltcse.com. In this demo from the attacker side, I will be spoofing the jmrltcse.com and my target is the tcsejmrl.com. That means I will be sending an email to this server and the NDR will be sent to this server. So at some point, tcsejmrl.com will be blacklisted on the server. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'll show you how an attacker can utilize the NDR capability of an SMTP server. With this, I will be using the Multimail tool, which can send bulk emails to an SMTP server directly. Let's say, let's spoof the user1 at jmrltcse.com let's put in the target domain so let's say user12345 at tcsejmrl.com please be informed that this user doesn't exist on the tcsejmrl.com Okay, because we want this domain to send an NDR, like the mailbox doesn't exist to the jmrltcse.com. Now I'll type in the SMTP server for tcsejmrl.com. It's 192.168.12.3. Let's send, uh, let's say, just around 20 emails. Okay, so total of 20 emails. Then let's attach somebody. Okay, I will just create a text file in here. This is a test bounce. Okay, let's save it. let's go to the downloads okay that's the body and then let's put in a subject testing bounce and the R okay let's go okay now we can see that all 20 emails has been sent so I'm expecting from the second domain which is the jmrltcse.com that a bounce will be received okay here it is we received 20 ndrs and take note of the domain it's from tcsejmrl.com we can actually check the attachment of the ndr so let's save it. Okay. Let's name it Bounds. Okay, then let's open it. This is the original email from user1 jmrltcse.com, which is from the attacker, then to user12345 at tcsejmrl.com. And see, this is the email that we have created from the local machine or from the attacker side. So that's it. I hope you got the idea that an attacker will do this in bulk so that tcsejmrl.com will be blocked on the jmrltcse.com. But for simplicity, I've just tested 20 emails. Now let's move on to the defense side. I will be using the IMSVA 
For backscatter attack, we have the configuration under sender filtering, rules, and click on bounce mail. By default, the duration to monitor is 20 hours, rate is 80%, total message is 1000. So that means that if 80% of the 1000 total messages, so that is about 800 is bounce email, then you will be blocked temporarily for a duration of 30. Now for an easier demo, let's enable it. Let's set duration to monitor for one hour. And let's say uh, 50% and for 20 emails again, same emails. So that means uh, if 10 emails are NDRs, let's set the sender to block permanently. Okay, save it. Now let's try to send a test email again, but this time I'll set it to 40, so that will be 40 counts. So I will be sending the same email. So let's click on go. So because of that, the attacker will be blocked by the IMS VA. So let's just wait for it. Okay. There. Okay, this is my local machine. So just to show you. Okay, got it. And here's our setting. Block permanently and the type is bounce. The date expiration is NA because we block it permanently. So that's pretty much it, the email backscatter attack and prevention.